Uh, hi everyone. So today we will discuss about uh, one of the scenario. Uh, so I'm trying to log into the application without filling without uh, filling the username on the password fields. So it will provide one error message, right? So we capture that error message and we will validate that uh, error message by using assertions. Okay. Okay, I'm creating one more file under test. Okay. Mm. Assertion. I will provide assertion. Mm. Assertions validations. Assertions. Dot. Dot. Yes. Okay. I'm giving the name assertions. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you is, so I am clicking on the login button without filling username and password fields. It should generate generate error message so we are validating we are validating that error message error message okay okay what i can do now this is a, a lengthy message right so filling username and first word right okay Okay. Yeah, multi line comment. Okay. This is called multi line comment. A single comment is control slash. Mm -hmm. And this is a multi line comment. Okay. Okay. Import using import test library. From at playwright right, test test okay just assertions assertions test as well side test async async is mandatory See, async is mandatory because JavaScript is always asynchronous in nature. What happens now? Asynchronous nature means so before execute, you see there are four steps. So first step is taking time now. Second, third, and fourth step will not wait. It will execute along with the first step. So to avoid that uh, asynchronous and to make it as in a synchronous execution, we will use async and await. Okay, await page dot go to. Okay, I take the URL. Right? See, so we are checking this URL. This is the demo URL. Okay, what I will do now? So now we will execute the manually the scenario. So after launching this URL, just click on login button. It is better take this directly login button till login. Take this URL and uh, without filling, see username field and password field. I kept it as empty. Just click on login button. So it will generate the error message. So wrong username or password. We need to capture this element. We need to do assertion for this error message. That is what we are going to validate. Okay. After launching the URL, go to await page dot. We need to click right login button. So we need to click on the login button. Capture the login button element. Go here. So login button element. Capture this login button element. Okay, now so this is under table, but it is have it has an tag as input class. It has type name value. I'm going with value. I'm going with value. So I'm using. I'll be mostly using the CSS selectors, not the export. I am comfortable with the 
CSS selectors. Value login. Okay. You think I have written wrong spelling. See L caps login. Copy is the same thing and paste here. Okay. Now see the element is identified. Okay. Copy this element. Paste it. Okay. After this, after clicking on this one, so because empty fields, no, it, it is giving global message or default message, wrong username and password. Capture this element, now, wrong username and the password. So we need to retrieve the text, wrong username and the password. See, this is a label and this is a text. There is no class is defined. There is no ID is defined. So the class is there, but we'll check with the class dot control here. It is matching with the class. So instead of with the class, no, what we'll do now, we'll, this is a table, right? We'll, we'll identify through the table. So this is one example we can cover here. We are identifying with the table. Even class is also identified, but it's under table. Only we'll go with the inner text. How we are going to identify with the table. We have a table. I'm going in sequence. So table, T body, okay, table row. And the child, see here in the child, when you use no, it, it will not start from zero, it will start from one, one, two, three, four, five, five, just provide five in the child of five. See, so it ended by correctly. No? So, so, some of the com see, we are even with the class, we are able to identify, but I am picking the table with the table, and we are able to identify this element. This is one of the complex version. Copy this element. I wait. Page dot locator. So locator. Copy this element. Okay. So we need to use. Uh, we need to assign to one variable. Get text one. I'll use get text one. So text we are using right. We need to retrieve the text right. So for this locator, you inner text. Just retrieve the inner text. Right. Inner. console dot log get text one so which will print the print error message print error message message so now can we run and check whether it is printing correctly error message or not okay Go to terminal. See here, if I run no handfix playwright test, I think it will execute both the test cases. Yes, it will execute both the test cases. Instead of why we need to run both test cases, we can run single test case, right? Mm -hmm. Now it is running in all the browsers, so it is better, better we provide the Chromium browser. It is better we can provide the Chromium browser. It is running in all the browsers. See, it is printing, no? printing. Error message, okay. Now what I do now, we will run only single test and text play, right? Okay, right test now only this test case we need from right assertions copy relative code and paste here okay space hyphen hyphen project chromium space hyphen hyphen h e a d we added more i'm running in here more this is the command we are using now to run the test cases in the chromium and we are running only the single test case okay see running one of one one worker okay 
see one test we are running one worker means one browser only we are running see it is printing error message now we need to do assertion assertion for this message hmm? okay how we are going to assert await uh, expect is the assertion we are using here so see expect you know, automatically the library got added okay even sometimes if you forget it will get added here but you keep in mind on the add it okay dot to equal what is the error message we are providing error message one username and password okay now we are running again we are i am running yes if you press up arrow no previous command will come you can see the previous command you can hit enter we no need to remember every time see it is printed error message one pass at the test see whenever we are doing assertion right assertion so in the pass condition it will not give any message or any kind of thing in the case of fail fail no it will generate one message okay so always remember during pass no it will not generate anything so now in our so as we are considering the test is passed okay so when it fails no, it will throw an error so if it is there is no error it will not give any message okay so that is how we can do the assertion okay. see it got failed see what it is giving see expected is password one i have given but actually it is coming from the application is password that's why it got failed so this is how you are going to see the error see even here also you are going to see the error okay see password one it is giving see it is not password actually it is receiving from the application is password so when it is passed no it will not get it it will not be any error okay So one test, one power. One test means one test. One power means one browser. It is running in one browser. If you don't provide any browser, no? how many browsers are there in your laptop? It will pick and it will run. So now I am specifically mentioning no? here. See, the it got passed. I am specifically mentioning here project Chromium. So that's why it is running in one, one browser. No? One worker, one browser. I hope you all understood this. Thank you. Thank you.